do let's do this. Good night, everyone. Goodbye, uh, Mimi Mon. Thanks for coming to stream. Sleep well. Easy. He's done it. I love the Zelda like discovery music. Ah, oh, it's good. All right, boys, here we go. Let's put this bad boy in. I'm sure it would suck if anyone was up right now, like just looking around and then they see this magical beam of light come from the sky and then they start panicking like, oh no, we're all gonna die. Also, now there's just a green pillar. That's cool. Really livens up the place. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Sick. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive! Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. I'm on it, my dude. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legend's true. Absolutely not. No way. I understand how you feel, but this is destiny itself calling for you. You must not run from it, Link. I love the way his eyebrows went down. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> Absolutely, we gotta look iconic. Until Breath of the Wild, where they just make a completely new outfit instead of giving you the iconic one. Uh, yes, save. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Save the game. Let's go, boys. Mm. How does this hat never fall off? That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. <laughs> you bet. It's as though you were born to wear it. What are the odds? It's your boy. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Let's go. Okay, so I've been watching Fairy Tale and I'm at the end of season five. When does it get bad for you? I don't remember seasons in Fairy Tale. I remember arcs. And it got bad after Tenru. Kind of like near the end of the Tenru arc and then beyond there. Link! Mostly the Grand Magic games. And then from there on, it just... It didn't become, like, completely awful, like it wasn't all bad, but it would always end up being bad in some way. The green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. What is it? Yo, adventure pouch. Nice. Thank you. I'll still kill you if it leads to the deletion of Tingle, just so you know. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. 
You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. How am I going to fit a shield in this pouch? Link, I just know that you'll find Zelda for us. I'm going to find Zelda for me, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> Season 5 is the infinity clock thing? Oh, that was a... Uh... That was a filler arc. That's not even canon. But you're coming up on when I started thinking Fairy Tale wasn't that good. Oh, hello. I heard the news link. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds and you're going to look for her. Is that right? For her? Words? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. Ah, thank you. A wooden shield. Light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, hold minus and point it with the Wii remote. Yeah, 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 got it. If you're not sure how to use the shield, and I, yeah, 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 I know how to use the shield. We're good. Oh my goodness, I have to, like, there we go. I had the Wii remote when I pressed minus, I had the Wii remote aimed way off to the side, so it confused the sensor bar. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions of the bazaar in preparation for your journey. I've got a shield on my back, woman. Another subject to discuss, Master. Once you're accustomed to the controls, you're free to modify your on-screen interface. Ah, oh, finally! Gear screen, select interface, change the... Uh, yeah, 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 we good. All right, cool. So we can finally get this off the screen then. Instead of standard, I want lights pro... I think pro is what I want. Okay, yeah, it still has that on. I don't want... I don't want that. I want it off. Pro. There we go. All right, perfect. It is really nice of them to have that option to be like, hey, in case you always need to be reminded to press one to open gear, we'll just leave it on the screen unless you want it turned off. Just gonna break these people's nice pottery and steal their money. Don't mind me. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we can only hold up to 300 rupees right now. We'll probably get 300 rupees during our first trip to the ground. So we want to go and spend most, if not all, of this money because I don't think there's any kind of a bank system in this game. You can just get bigger wallets. What's up, guys? Hello, everyone. Where do I want to buy from? I'll talk to you first. My man, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find, upgrade your gear, and make it even stronger. If your shield takes a beating, no worries. I can fix that too. What'll it be? I love getting to upgrade stuff. <laughs> you got it? These are all items you have that I can upgrade right now? Yeah, it's probably just the shield, right? Yeah, but we can upgrade like the dungeon items we get later. Don't have the other stuff I need as expected. All right. Hold on, now you changed your mind? Well, in all the... Ah, it's fine. Come see me whenever you change it back, little buddy. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with you right now. That's storage lady. Oh, this guy. Look at him. This guy's scum. Hey, how's it going? You give me one of the, like, only five bottles in the game, right? Because bottles are some kind of really rare commodity for some reason. Hey, you there. Yes, you. The adorable boy with the golden hair. It's not really golden, but okay. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. You're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least, huh? Let me tell you, one look at you, and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you, though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Ah, oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. This is like one of the rarest items in Skyward lore. Like, there are only five of these things in existence, and you're giving me one? Thank you. Or is it six? I can't remember how many bottles are in the game, but there aren't many. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. We got a bottle! Mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press minus to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item store, so what would you like to buy? Do I even want to take any of these potions? What is this? Oh. Slow down, dear. That potion is not quite ready for public con uh, consumption. All right, stop talking to me. We can just buy a... Uh, this should be a health potion. Let's just take a standard health potion, even though I don't think I'll need it. It's about a heart potion. Drink this here in order to replenish your health. Why don't you take it for a year? It's only 20 rupees. Yeah. 
you know, I might mess something up by mistake and we'll need this heart potion, so we'll go ahead and take it. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. All right, I don't care about powering up. It is enough. What's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> Aha, customer. Hello there, friend. My shop carries... What is wrong with your cheeks? My shop carries the funnest products you'll find anywhere. Please take a moment uh, for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I've prepared just for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay. <laughs> of course, someone as bright and savvy as yourself doesn't need to hear me ramble on. Straight to business. Please, friend, feast your eyes on this landscape of fantastical treasures I've prepared for you today. Stop talking. I do apologize, but I can't sell you this unless you have a bow. It's store policy, you see. Understandable. <laughs> Aha, it's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for 50 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? No thanks. <laughs> His face. <laughs> That's quite all right, friend. I've got quite a few other items in stock, so take your time and look around. See you later, nerd. Not a whole lot we can buy right now. Oh, my word. Are you okay? Are you like the... Are you the ancestor of Master Grievel from XD, Gale of Darkness? What's this? What is that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazard, thorny ro hazardous thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. All right, you freak of nature. Gaze into my eyes. Stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh, yes, these lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Allow me to tell you your fortune, boy. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose on your stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally, I seek 10 rupees to tell fortune, but this time I'll charge but one rupee. Do you want me to tell your fortune? How do you discover fate? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. I'll do it once. Yes, I knew it. Aha, what a treat. You're the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I wonder why. I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well, let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune. It's all coming into focus now. I forgot there's nothing to really buy until we can get to Beetle Shop, and we can't get to Beetle Shop yet, so we're not really going to be able to use our money. Aha, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area? Somewhere blanketed in green. Yes, my eyes, they see all. Trees everywhere. Yes, many trees. It would serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I can see that you're a bit young and green yourself, so it wouldn't hurt to take a heart potion with you. I've already got both of these things. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Come see me again if you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, let's get. I want to make some progress through the forest before we wrap up today. His chin has chins. He is, uh, he is a strange man. Oh, there's Beetle's air shop. I don't think there's any way you can get to the air shop. Well, actually, wait a minute. Can I, like... Can I get a running jump and hit it with my sword? That might have been possible, but I doubt it. It's a lot easier to do once we get the slingshot, which is one of the first items you get, though, so we'll worry about it later. Get all the way over to that... No, yeah, not getting that chest. Never mind. Let's go, my mighty bird. Does my bird not have a name? I guess it doesn't. Here we go. Oh, magical green beam of light. I'm on my way to save the day. <laughs> Gonna get the girl, save the day, and rescue Mr. Krabs. Go, my Loftwing, go. Ah, cutscene. Hi, Fee. Master Link, observe. The green pillar before you is a column of light. Yes, thank you, I, I have eyes. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Uh-huh. Yep. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds of the column space. I got it. Can we give the bird a name? Go ahead, chat. Knock yourselves out. I do not promise to call it by whatever name you say, but you're more than welcome to. Below the cloud barrier, our journey finally truly begins. Let's go, boys. The first of the three major areas. Bird von Birdingheim the fourth. Job done. Dang it, lone wolf. Oh, sailcloth. All right, here we are. How long has this fence been here? Master Link, we've arrived. 
Oh, have we? This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft Legends. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of evil down there. I love the Sealed Grounds. I mean, I just love this game. I love its aesthetic in the locations. Big fan. Whoop. Please proceed with caution, Master. Don't tell me how to live my life. I'll proceed without caution if I want to. All right. Take a the time. I remember how to beat these fools. Goodbye. Ah, yes, money. My favorite. Oh no, there's two of them! First, oh, that was bad by me. Ariel. I should have taken a step back and then swung the sword. Oh, it's the Shika symbol. What could it mean? Oh dear. I'm having a vision. The Monado's power is flowing through me. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. Oh yeah, it looks very anti-good. Ah, oh, my forehead! It burns! Hi! Uh-oh. Please give me all of your scales. I need them to uh, get more badges in Hyrule Warriors. Such a gentle breeze. How nice. All right, do we have to go down there to the demon first, or do we have to go in here first? I think we have to go down there to Demon Boy. Yeah, all right, we gotta go down there and deal with the, the imprisoned. Sailcloth. Oh, sailcloth again. I forgot you have to hold the button. Whoop. Nope. Not today, buddy. Oh, this music. Oh, dude, we're gonna get to listen to, like, some of the most cursed music of all time way later in the game. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Hi. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Yeah, okay. Voice in my head. He's done it. Oh, okay, we're good. Everything's A-OK -okay now. Perfect. Nothing to worry about at all. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. Yeah, there's a lot of air tunnels now. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dousing. Oh, I totally, totally forgot about the dousing shenanigans. No, I know what to do. For the most part, at least. Understood, Master. Hold down C and slide. I just said I don't need you to tell me this. I got it. Zelda. One of my favorite things to search for. Is my girl. All right, we just got to go back up to the temple. Woo! Up, up, and away. Sealed grounds are so massive. Oh, hi, bye. All right, can't do that. Uh, take this one instead. Go, Link, go! Woo! There we go, much better. Right where I wanted to be. Uh, yes, hello, open sesame. That's what I thought. 
easy magic words. These doors are so heavy. They're so big and stone and they weigh a lot. Oh, I love this music too. Dude, so much of this music is nostalgic for me. I love it.